The Daily Maverick has nominated Gift of the Givers founder, Dr. Imtia Suleiman, as its Person of the Year. The criteria for the award was for the individual who had the broadest or most significant impact on the country as a whole. The Gift of the Givers Foundation provides unconditional humanitarian assistance to all people everywhere quite literally, uh, from food and tents to people affected by natural disasters and providing relief to victims of storms and fires. The foundation has also been there for South Africans and the global community. Dr. Imtia Suleiman himself, the man of the moment, so to speak, he joins us via our video link. And Dr. Suleiman, uh, welcome to the program. First things first, congratulations are in order for you. I don't know whether things like this even really matter for you, given how long you've been doing this and the reasons behind why you do it. Good morning, Ayanda. You're right. You know, it, it doesn't matter in a way for, for personal benefit, but it matters in a way for the people who choose. Mm -hmm. you know, there are people who want to show their love. There are people who want to show their attached to what we do. That there is to the recognize goodness. And you can't deny them that opportunity. And they, they feel they want to be part of it in some way. And if they can't be with you on your project, then they want to be and support you in this kind of way. And, you know, I mean, that was have been many over 29 years. But the main reason why, you know, it doesn't, it's not, I'm not allowed to, for you to touch me from an ego point of view, is very clear. When the spiritual teacher gave me the instruction on the 6th of August, 1992, in Istanbul, the first thing in that in first instruction, he told me, my son, that whatever you do is done through you and not by you. I can't take credit for anything that's been done, mm. because it's very clear. The kind of things that we do, in most cases, is not humanly possible. The way it's laid out for us, the way it's done, it's all set out for us. It's clearly a spiritual kind of hand working over you. Secondly, you said when you serve the people of all races, all religions, all colors, all classes, all cultures, any geographical location and any political affiliation, serve them unconditionally. Don't expect anything in return, not even a thank you. So we don't look for those kind of things if you follow the instruction. We just do what we have to do because people are in need. Sure. It's quite profound. Let's speak about what it takes, though, to run the Gift of the Givers Foundation. I mean, I have seen all manner of reaction to the work you do, including calls for you to take up political office so that one day you might be the president of this country. But that aside, I mean, help us understand, for instance, what it takes to coordinate the organization, which, without a doubt, is also not exempt from the dire impact that comes with adverse events like the COVID-19 pandemic. In disaster, you have to be in a state of readiness all the time. Mm. But what's important, I mean, this, this, this award recognizes a person, but a person can't do this. You know, there, there are people that support this person, myself. You know, it's teams, teams that are dedicated Monday to Sunday, will come out at short notice, will go on holiday Christmas, and the same Christmas they will come back when it's required. So it's made up of very dedicated personnel who don't do it because it's a paid job. They do it because they have the commitment and the heart to serve fellow beings. And for them, whether it's COVID, an earthquake, a war zone, a flood damage, whatever it is, it makes no difference. It fits the broad category of disaster. What's our plan? How are we going to implement it? And how are we going to benefit people? So to us, it doesn't really matter what the disaster is. It's a disaster. And the principles are the same. We get to help the people. Whether it's Monday, or Friday, weekends, public holidays, we have to be. And it's a type of team, the mentality and the makeup of the team. Both the full-time staff that work for us full-time and also the staff, that the medical personnel and the search and rescue personnel that join us, those are the volunteers. That when, when we respond internationally to any disaster, the makeup is the same. They want to get into a disaster and they want to serve to the best of their ability. And that's what makes it, you know, it, it happen. And of course, all this is not possible without the media coverage that all of you give us, without support from the public, the corporates, the other people, and from the prey of those people who can't afford to give any money. So it's a very collective effort that makes the thing happen the way we do. We plan all the time. We are logistics upgrade all the time. We, we, we review every project. We review every day what we can do better. And it's an ongoing process to improve ourselves. Yeah. You know, people sometimes spend a lifetime trying to figure out what their purpose is. Do you get the sense that you're doing what you are meant to do? Maybe what you are born oh. to do? Most certainly. No, I mean, from the comments that you get from the public, you know, it's obvious that we are following the instruction given to us by the spiritual teacher. And many years ago, you know, it, 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 he told me, you know what, you've already done enough, you don't have to do any more. And I looked at him and I smiled, I said, teacher, I'll die doing nothing, you know. And, uh, and he, he, it was sort of indication that, you know, obviously he didn't want me to stop, but it was an indication, because he told me in the first instruction, 
that this is an instruction for you for the rest of your life. So obviously you're not going to stop it halfway. And it was just an indication that my son, you're on the right path, carry on the way you are doing what you're doing. And of course, you get the comments from the public, you know, you know, you bring hope to the people. Our, our activities is about giving people hope, giving them dignity, easing difficulty. We can't cure the problems, you know, we can try to make the problems better. In some cases, yes, we can solve the problem completely. When we do infrastructure upgrades at hospitals, when we put balls in areas in schools and in, 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 in communities and in hospitals, when we provide fodder for farmers so the sheep can be safe and the farms start growing again and they, they can employ people in a kidnapping situation when we get hostage release, those are different interventions which make a difference. There's huge amounts of interventions that we do in different ways. And you know, some of them are permanently successful and others are just to, to help in that moment of time. It is a greater plan of approach which requires intervention of government something beyond that. Yeah. Dr. M.T. Suleiman, in a stroke of irony, I'm told you have a busy morning, so I'm going to have to let you go. But thanks for taking time to speak to us. And again, if it hasn't been said in any unequivocal terms as yet, the work you do makes an incredible difference, and I hope you receive all the support you need to keep going. Again, as well, congratulations are in order. Dr. M.T. Suleiman, who's the founder of The Gift of the Givers, also Person of the Year, according to the Daily Maverick. We appreciate your time.